Hello students. Today we're going to talk about workplaces. First, we're going to review the names of jobs that we did in the last lesson. So here we go. An artist. An artist. A singer. A singer. A writer. A writer. An engineer. An engineer. A manager. A manager. A director. A director. A cameraman. A cameraman. A business oops, woman. A businesswoman. A police officer. A police officer. A sales assistant. A sales assistant. A veterinarian. A veterinarian. An actor. An actor. A waitress. A waitress. A waiter. A waiter. A computer programmer. A computer programmer. And an accountant. An accountant. Okay, so again, an artist, a singer, a writer, an engineer, a manager, a director, a cameraman, a businesswoman, a police officer, a sales assistant, a veterinarian, an actor, a waitress, a waiter, a computer programmer, and an accountant. Okay? Now, let's talk about where these people work. Now, we're going to talk about workplaces. First of all, these small words usually talk about where the place is. These are called prepositions. And in English, the preposition comes before the noun. Okay, now, here's some sentences. My sister is a nurse. My sister is a nurse. She works in, in a hospital. My sister is a nurse. She works in a hospital. My brother is an architect. My brother is an architect. He works in an office. He works in an office. My brother is an architect. He works in an office. In an office. My son is a website designer. My son is a website designer. He works at a restaurant. He works 
at a restaurant. My son is a website designer. He works at a restaurant. I am a teacher. I am a teacher. I work at a school. I am a teacher. I work at a school. So again, my sister is a nurse. She works in a hospital. My brother is an architect. He works in an office. My son is a website designer. He works at a restaurant. I am a teacher. I work at a school. Now, here is some vocabulary of workplaces. So these are names of places where people work. So here we go. First, a bank. A bank. A bank. A restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. An office. An office an office, a school, a school, a school, a hospital, a hospital, a hospital, a store, a store, a store, a hotel, a hotel, a hotel and a factory, a factory, a factory. Okay? Now, I want to make some questions and then the answers will include these words. So here's the question Where does a mm -mm work? Where does a mm -mm work? For example, where does a teacher work? Where does a teacher work? A teacher works at a school. Where does a teacher work? A teacher works at a school. Okay? Now, let's practice. Ali, where does an architect work? An architect works in an office. Yes, good. Lisa, Lisa, where does a waiter work? A waiter works in a restaurant. Okay. Isabel, where does a website designer work? A website designer works in an office. Mm -hmm. Lisa, where does a sales assistant work? A sales assistant works in a store. Mm -hmm. Isabel, where does a taxi driver work? A taxi driver works in a taxi. Yes. Ali, where does an artist work? An artist works in a studio. Good. Isabel, where does a singer work? A singer works in a studio. A singer works in a theater or a bar. Yes. Lisa, where does a writer work? A writer works in an office. Mm -hmm. Good. Ali, where does a businesswoman work? Mm, she works in an office. Yes. Lisa, where does a veterinarian work? He or she works in an office or clinic. Yes, that's right. Ali, tell me about a police officer. A police officer protects people. He works in an office. Maybe he works on a street. Yes, good. Lisa, tell me about a cameraman. A cameraman makes films or television pro programs. He works in a studio. Okay. Isabel, tell me about an accountant. An accountant manages money. He or she works in an office. 
Yes, very good. Thank you very much. Workplaces, prepositions of location. Now, there are some special words that use at. At home, at work, at school. No a, uh, no the, only at home, at work, at school. Now, we can do these two ways. Where does she work? Where does she work? She works at home. She works at home. Where does she work? She works at home. Or, where is she? Where is she? She is at home. Where is she? She is at home. All right? Now, let's practice. Ali, where does a homemaker work? A homemaker works at home. Is your mother a homemaker? Yes, she is. Does she work at home? Yes, she does. Is she at home now? Mm, yes, she is. Isabel, where does a student study? A student study at school. Are you at school now? Yes, I am. Where is Ali now? He is at school. All right. Lisa, are you at work now? No, I'm not. Where are you? I'm at school. Thank you very much. Very good. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. My mother works at home. I work in an office. A waiter works in a restaurant. My teacher works at school. We are at work. Read and repeat. Workplaces, the. Okay, now we're going to talk about the. The. Now, before we saw a and an. Today, we're going to talk about the. Now, the is when there's only one, or we know it from before. Okay, so the is very specific. It's specific. So a and an are general, and the is specific. All right? Now, for example, I see a teacher. I see a teacher. Okay? General. The teacher. The teacher is in the classroom. Okay? I see a teacher, general. Now, this is the second time. The teacher is in the classroom. Okay? General, specific. Here's another example. I see the moon. It's the moon. I see the moon. In our world, there's only one moon. I see the moon, only one. Okay? Now, here is a new question. Where is it? Okay? Where is it? Now, let's practice. Ali, 
Where do you work? I work in an office. Where is it? The office is in a clinic. And where is the clinic? It is in Istanbul. All right, good, thank you. Now, Lisa, where do you work? I work in a hospital. And where is the hospital? It's in Hamburg. Isabel, where do you study? I study in a classroom. And where is the classroom? The classroom is here. All right, very good. Now, let's practice some more. Now, these sentences that I'm going to write on the board don't have a or the. So the assistants will put them in. We'll do these one by one. Now, remember that a is general or an, and the is specific. Okay? Now, first, my brother is. Okay, Ali, you do this sentence. My brother is a waiter. Yes. Why? A is general. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, my brother is a waiter. Now, he works in restaurant. Lisa, this one is for you. He works in a restaurant. All right, why is it a? Uh, it is general. We don't know the restaurant. That's right. He works in a restaurant. Okay? Now, the next one. Restaurant is in shopping mall. Okay, Isabel, this one is for you. The restaurant is in a shopping mall. All right. And why is it the restaurant? It's a specific now. Okay. And why is it a shopping mall? It's general. Yes, that's right. Okay. The restaurant, and this is new, a shopping mall. The restaurant is in a shopping mall. Okay. Next. Shopping mall is on big street. Okay, Lisa. The shopping mall is on a big street. Yes, okay. Now, why is it the shopping mall? It is specific. Yes, now we've seen it again. And why is it a big street? Because we don't know the big street. Yes, that's good. All right, now, street's name is Main Street. Okay, Ali. The street's name is Main Street. And why is it the? It is specific. Yes, very good. The street's name is Main Street. Okay, let's look at these again. My brother is a waiter. He works in a restaurant. The restaurant is in a shopping mall. The shopping mall is on a big street. The street's name is Main Street. Okay? All right, very good. Frequency adverbs. All right, now we're going to talk about verbs and we're going to talk about time words. Now, look at these. 100% always, always. 90% usually, usually. 80% often, often. 50% sometimes. Sometimes. Ten percent, rarely, rarely, or seldom, seldom. And finally, zero percent, 
never, never. Okay? Now, these are called frequency adverbs. So these give information to a verb, usually in a simple present. Okay? So these words go with the verb. Now, they go in two places in a sentence. So let's talk about the first one. Now, it's very important to see where they go in the first one. With most verbs, they go before the verb. So, for example, before the verb, I always speak English. I always speak English. Here's the verb, and here is the frequency adverb. Okay? I always speak English. He never goes to the cinema. He never goes to the cinema. Here's the frequency adverb, and here's the verb. And another example, we often work in an office. We often work in an office. Here's the frequency adverb, here's the verb. So, I always speak English. He never goes to the cinema. We often work in an office. All right? Now, this is one place. The second one is with be verbs. All right, now, sometimes and usually, sometimes and usually are a little bit special. They can go also at the beginning of a sentence. Sometimes I work in an office. Sometimes I work in an office. Okay, so here it is and here is the verb. Also, usually he works in a store. Usually he works in a store. So Sometimes, sometimes, and usually can go at the beginning. Here is the verb, and here for these two is the uh, frequency adverb. Okay? Now, the second kind of word that we have, the place that we put frequency adverbs, is with the be verbs. Be verbs. Okay? Now, Look at this. She is always beautiful. She is always beautiful. Now, here is the be verb, always. All right? She is always beautiful. Another example, they are usually Polite. They are usually polite. Here is the verb, and here is the adverb. They are usually polite. And another example, you are never rude. You are never rude. So again, be verb, adverb. Okay? Now, like the other verbs, sometimes and usually can go at the beginning. For example, usually she is nice. Usually she is nice. So again, we have the adverb and here's the verb. This is okay. 
And sometimes she is funny. Again, usually and sometimes. Sometimes she is funny. Here's the verb, here's the adverb. But just usually and sometimes. Generally, be plus adverb. Now, here are two new questions. Here's the first one. How often, how often do you, mm -mm. How often do you, mm -mm, I, da 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 da. Okay? So, example. How often do you work? How often do you work? I always work. How often do you work? I always work. All right? Now, this is one question with this kind of word. Now, another one is how often are you shy? How often are you shy? I am usually shy. How often are you shy? I am usually shy. All right? So this is one kind of word, and this is with the be verbs. But the same question, how often? So let's practice. Lisa, how often do you work? I always work. How often are you busy? I'm usually busy. Isabel, how often do you study English? I often study English. And how often are you here? I'm usually here. Thank you. Ali, how often do you eat sushi? I never eat sushi. Isabel, how often do you eat hamburgers? I rarely eat hamburgers. Oh, okay. Lisa, how often do you study English? I always study English. Oh, good student. Ali, how often do you go to football games? I often go to football games. And how often are you happy? I'm usually happy. All right. Now, let me ask you some more questions. Lisa, does a police officer usually work in an office? Mm, a police officer sometimes works in an office. Okay. Isabel, does a manager always work in an office? Yes, a manager always works in an office. All right. Ali, does a nurse always work in a hospital? Mm, yes, sometimes a nurse works at home. Yes, that's true. Lisa, does a writer always write books? Sometimes a writer writes poems. Yes, that's right. Good. Isabel, does an accountant always work in an office? Hmm, sometimes an, an accountant works at home. Yes, that's right. Ali, does an engineer always work in an office? Sometimes an engineer doesn't work in an office. Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. Very good. Simple present tense pronunciation. Now, we're going to work a little bit more with verbs. As you know, simple present verbs, you have to pay attention with he, she, it, plus s, verb plus s. However, sometimes it's a little special, and there are two groups. So now, notice we have learned that he, she, it has to have an s with it. For example, she works, he sings. Now, the first group has to have E-S, 
all right, for the sound. Here's the first one. Wash, wash. He washes. He washes. Wash, he washes. All right? Another example. Teach. Teach. She teaches. She teaches. Teach. She teaches. Another one. Dress. Dress. She dresses. She dresses. Dress. She dresses. And another one. Fix. He fixes. Fix. He fixes. So all of these are S sounds. So they have E, S. So wash, he washes. Teach, she teaches. Dress, she dresses. Fix, he fixes. Okay, you can hear the extra letter here. Now, the second group is a little bit more difficult. This one, we learned that Y is sometimes a vowel. Sometimes a vowel. A E I O U, sometimes Y. Now, there are two kinds of sounds with the vowel Y. One sound is a package. A Y. A, O, Y, Oi, or U, Y, usually I. Okay? So for this, there is no change in spelling. Now, notice, we learned that Y is sometimes a vowel. There are two kinds of sounds with the vowel Y. One sound is a package, A, Y, O, Y, U-Y. For the package sound of Y, there is no change in spelling. Look. Play. Play. He plays. He plays. Okay, no, no change in spelling. Enjoy. Enjoy. She enjoys. She enjoys. Enjoy. She enjoys. Buy. Buy. He buys. He buys. Buy. He buys. And stay. Stay. She stays. She stays. Stay. She stays. Okay? Play. He plays. Enjoy. She enjoys. Buy. He buys. Stay. She stays. No change. Now, one sound of, the, of this, of the Y sound, is E. When it's at the end of the verb after a consonant, we have to change it to S. So one sound is the E sound of Y. When it as is at the end of the verb after a consonant, we have to change it to add S. Look how we do it. Cry, cry, he cries. Ah, cries. Cry, he cries. Y becomes an I and we add E. Here's another one. Try, try. 
she tries. She tries. Try. She tries. All right? Next one. Study. Study. She studies. She studies. Study. Studies. Another one. Carry. Carry. It carries. It carries. Carry. It carries. And then a final one. Worry. He worries. So worry. He worries. Take out the Y. Put in IE. So notice that. You have to take out the Y and change it to I. Then you have to add E and S. Y becomes IES. Okay? Now we're going to practice. So, students, assistants, here we go, one sentence at a time, and you're going to make the correct verb. So, here's, it's a story. It's a lovely story. Bobby is a little boy. He, a lot. All right, Lisa, you start. Bobby is a little boy. He cries a lot. Okay. He cries a lot. All right. Now, spell cries. C-R-I-E-S. And why did it change? Y after a consonant. Y after a consonant. Yes, good. All right. Here's another sentence. He to play games with big children. All right, Isabel, this is for you. He tries to play games with big children. He tries to play games with big children. Now, spell it. T-R-I-E-S. And why did it change? Y after a consonant. Y after a consonant, yes, good. All right, here comes the next one. All right, Ali, this one is for you. He plays a lot. He plays a lot. All right, so Ali, why didn't it change? A-Y. A-Y, you have the package here. All right, now here comes another one. His mother worry all right isabel his mother worries all right his mother worries spell it w o r r i e s and why did it change y after a consonant y after a consonant good okay here's another one she Buy toys for him. All right, Lisa? She buys toys for him. Yes, she buys toys for him. Now spell it. B-U-Y-S. Okay, and why is it spelled this way? It's a package. It's a package, U-Y. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. He... Carry them. All right, Ali, this one is for you. He carries them. He carries them. Okay, now you spell it. C A R R I E S. And why did it change? Y after a consonant. Y after a consonant, thank you. Okay, now she. Teach him, there's two in this one, and she, 
All right. Okay. Now, this one is for Isabel. She teaches him and she kisses him. Yes. She teaches him and she kisses him. All right. Spell teaches. T E A C H E S. All right. And why? Why is it like this? E S after an S sound. Yes, that's right. E S after an S sound. Okay. And what is the S sound? C H. C H. Here's the S sound right there. All right. And kisses? K I S S E S. And why is it different? E S after an S sound. And what is the S sound? It's double S. Double S, yes, good. All right. Okay. Now he enjoy it. All right, Ali, this one is for you. He enjoys it. He enjoys it. Okay? Now, uh, what happens to this one? Why is it like this? OY package. OY package, yes. All right. Okay. And then the final sentence. Then he. Okay, Lisa? Then he washes. Then he washes. And why is it like this? ES after an S sound. Yes, and what is the S sound? SH. SH, there's the S sound. Yes. Very good, all of you. All right, now let's look at the story again. Bobby is a little boy. He cries a lot. He tries to play games with big children. He plays a lot. His mother worries. She buys toys for him. He carries them. She teaches him and she kisses him. He enjoys it. Then he washes. And then we can add one more sentence to make this story complete. He is a funny boy. He is a funny boy. All right? Very good. Now, let's do some more pronunciation. This time, we'll look at the sound of the letter O, but A, ah, short O, A, ah, A. Ah. Here's some words that you know. Not, father, on, John, blonde, not, father, on, John, blonde. Okay? Now, the next is with short A, a, a. All right? Now, here's some words. M, at, answer, answer, man, man, ask, and, actor, taxi, a, M, at, Answer, man, ask, and actor, taxi. Now, the third group is with eh, eh. Men, pen, send, sell, Technical, dentist, okay? Men, pen, send, sell, technical, dentist. Okay, now, we're going to do some other words only for pronunciation. This is short, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Pot. Odd, 
odd pond on dawn. Okay? Pot odd pond on dawn. Now, here's the ah sound. We have pat add band an dan pat add band an dan now for the e eh sound pet ed bend n den pet ed bend n den okay now let's do it across and you can hear the difference in the sounds pot pat pet odd add ed bond band bend on an n dawn dan din now let's practice with a few more words and then move on all right here we go some more words same thing ah sound sol log rock ox follow sol log rock ox follow now the ah sound sal leg rack axe fallow sal lag rack axe fallow and finally uh, sell leg wreck x and fellow sell leg wreck x fellow now, again, let's do it across, and you can hear the difference in sounds. Sol, sal, cell. Log, lag, leg. Rock, rack, wreck. Ox, axe, x. Follow, fallow. Fellow. All right. Thank you very much. Now we are going to practice some review to listen and write. Listen and write. Number one. Restaurant. Number two. Office. Number three. Hospital. Number four, school. Number five, home. Now, check your work. Number one, restaurant. Number two, office. Number three, 
hospital. Number four, school. Number five, home. Now, write these sentences. I will say each sentence two times. Number one, my mother works at home. My mother works at home. Number two, her aunt usually goes to work in a factory. Her aunt usually goes to work in a factory. Number three, a waiter is usually polite. A waiter is usually polite. Number four, a teacher always teaches in a school. A teacher always teaches in a school. Number five, Tom's aunt never goes to a restaurant. Tom's aunt never goes to a restaurant. Now, check your work. Number one. My mother works at home. Number two. Her aunt usually goes to work in a factory. Number three. A waiter is usually polite. Number four. A teacher always teaches in a school. Number five, Tom's aunt never goes to a restaurant. Now, read this story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Tom is an accountant. He is a manager too. He usually works in an office. The office is on a big street in a big city. Tom is married. His wife's name is Jane. She is a teacher. They have two children. Their son is 12 years old and their daughter is 10. Jane's mother lives in their house. She usually takes care of the children. She teaches them too. She loves them a lot. They love her. They love their father and mother too. This is a happy family. Now, answer the questions about the story. I will read the questions two times. Number one, what does Tom do? What does Tom do? Number two, where does he work? Where does he work? Number three, is he divorced? Is he divorced? Number four, what is his wife's name? What is his wife's name? Number five, what does she do? What does she do? Number six, how many children do they have? How many children do they have? Number seven. How old are they? How old are they? Number eight. Who takes care of the children? Who takes care 
of the children. Number nine. Does she teach them? Does she teach them? Number ten. Do the children love their grandmother? Do the children love their grandmother? Now, check your work. Number one. What does Tom do? He is an accountant. He is a manager. Number two. Where does he work? He works in an office on a big street. Is he divorced? No, he isn't. He's married. Number four. What is his wife's name? Her name is Jane. Number five. What does she do? She is a teacher. Number six. How many children do they have? They have two children. Number seven. How old are they? They are 10 and 12 years old. Number eight. Who takes care of the children? Their grandmother takes care of them. Number nine. Does she teach them? Yes, she does. Number 10. Do the children love their grandmother? Yes, they do. Good job, and we'll see you next time. Practicing English. Angie, you look very tired today. What's wrong? My neighbor's baby doesn't usually cry, but last night she was very loud. I couldn't sleep all night long. That's not very good, Angie. But look, it's a beautiful day here, so let's have fun. You're right. I am okay. Here we are at the park. I love it here with all the trees. It's very nice. Yeah, I agree with you, Jack. Let's play a game, okay? What kind of game? See all these people walking by? Yes. Let's see if we can guess their jobs. That sounds very interesting. Sam, it's your game, so why don't you start? Okay. See that man over there with the small bag? I bet he's a doctor and he works in a hospital. Alexi, now it's your turn. What do you think that woman does? Well, she's dressed very nicely. She's wearing a suit and is very neat. I think she's a manager and she works in an office. Angie, you try one. What about that young guy over there in the jacket? Okay, he looks like an architect. He is carrying a round tube that he carries his designs in. Okay, it's my turn. I see an easy one. Look over there at that lady walking. She's wearing a white uniform. She is a nurse and works in a hospital. Too easy. Look over there. What about those women? They're walking with small children. I think they are housewives, and they work at home. A good guess. You're probably right. Jack, Sammy's dad is a pilot. Where does he work? Well, he works on an airplane, but he also works in an airport. Where does my dad work? Do you remember? Of course. Your dad is a professor, and he works at a university. That's right. What does my dad do? I remember. He's a police captain, and he works in a police station. Yes, you're right. 
Sam, your mom is a teacher too. Sometimes I would think I would like to teach. What does your mom say about teaching school? Well, she says many things about teaching. Give us an example, please. Well, some students are very good. Always come to class, do their homework. Go on. And then she says there are some other students who usually do their homework. They might miss class once in a while. Yes. And then there are more students who often come to class, but sometimes miss an assignment or two. She says the hardest thing about teaching is that some students in her classes rarely do their homework and seldom come to class. This is a serious problem in her school. Yes, that's a difficult situation. Fortunately, only a few students never come to class and never do their homework. What does your mom do with those students? Of course, she tries to teach them new things, but they must also try to learn. She teaches most students easily, but some students have special problems with learning. Wow, sounds like teaching is sometimes hard. It is. But usually my mum likes it very much. She always tries to be very positive with them. I know one thing about teaching. When were you a teacher, Jack? Last summer, when I was a teacher at a camp for teenagers, remember? That's right. I remember. Go ahead. What did you learn as a teacher? I learned that you must always know your subject. Okay, that makes sense. What else? You must always be helpful and patient with your students. Anything else? Yes. Never yell at students and always try to have as much fun as possible. I think this is good advice for other jobs too, like doctors and salespeople. We always know these important rules, but sometimes we forget. Yes, sometimes we forget important lessons. I will try to remember what Sam's mom and Jack have said about teaching. I rarely forget such important advice, and I try to learn as much as I can from others. Mm -hmm.